Greetings to all LST 110 students. The purpose of this short video is just to reinforce assessment five, scaffold five, which is to engage in summary writing for purposes of argumentation. Just to remind you that a genre is the style or the format, one can even say the method that we apply to engage in communication. And so far, uh, we've written a multimodal poster. You guys have also engaged in form writing. You've engaged in uh, writing a journal entry. All of those are genres. So the genre that we're focusing on right now is a summary. And we use summaries because even senior scholars engage in summary writing. It's a way for them to bring together large amounts of data um, to zoom in on key points, key arguments, claims that were made by established researchers. So yes, our genre for this assessment five is the summary. Just remember that to collate means to bring together different sources of data. And that could be sources from websites, journals, books, interviews. For assessment five, fortunately, you only have to use one scholarly source, one authentic scholarly source that is named, by the way. There are many types of summaries. I list three here. That's the main point summary, the outline summary, and we will be using the key point. We will be applying the key point summary. Number one, the main point summary just lists all of the main points of a source of data. What's significant about number two, the outline summary, is that it copies the structure of the original source. So if you're summarizing an academic article, sorry, a scholarly article, then you will use that structure. If you're summarizing a online news article, chances are very high that you will also use that structure. But that's not what we're doing. We are using number three. And we're using number three because what we need you to do is to extract the key point or the key points of the source that you are using. And we need you to extract those key points in order to illustrate why you have adopted a stance in an argument and why you are advancing claims related to that argument. And just remember students, the argument that you will be summarizing comes from page 43 in the study guide and is exactly the same as your team's multimodal poster. The only difference now is that you will be warranting your stance individually. So how do you go about choosing a source of data that you can use to access key points? Again, your stance in the argument needs to be clear. After you have clearly identified that stance, brainstorm and then generate as many claims related to that stance as possible. Narrow down your sources of data, so whether it's journals or websites or media sources, and as long as they are all authentic and they are all named, narrow these down and then choose one, okay? Choose one source of data, and then your summary will be focused on this source. We have endless infinite data at our disposal. To get started, we suggest you use either Google Scholar or the library's website. So depending on if you are watching this at the LST TV YouTube page or the UAL's YouTube page, or if you are getting this through PowerPoint, 
you can click on one of these images or I will share links to these sites in the comments section below. LST students, just remember that if you have any questions, you may ask these in our question and answer forum over here, and we will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. We hope that this video has been helpful, and we wish you all of the best in this time that you snuggle up with loved ones, pets, family members, and take care.